Oh my gosh. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Godlike. Beyond godlike. We just smoked a full health revenant in like two seconds. The maxed out Talon are here on the live server and we're gonna try out, of course, the Behemoth Talon. These are sinister talents for the special edition version. Five second reload time, but remember, the special ability of these weapons is rust. Each stack of this negative effect decreases robot durability recovery by 1% and the effectiveness of its defense points. So pretty much we rust down enemies and affect their defense points and their healing recovery, which is a kind of a big deal. So we have all of our pilot skills are loaded up. We also have our gunsmiths, so that's a bit more damage for the rockets themselves. And I don't know how this is going to work because on the test server, some weekends they were super overpowered, other weekends they were medium. So let's take this thing in the Champion League and try this out. And yes, we're in a different room for just today, but I had to try this thing out. Let's go Beacon Rush. Okay, row map. Okay, uh, let's drop this thing right away with uh, the cloaking unit and see how this goes. All right, all right. They do look pretty cool. That's one thing I'll say right off the bat. These weapons definitely look awesome. The question is, how do they actually perform? 350 meter range. So they're not really a camping sit back weapon, but they are kind of a semi lock on. If you read the description too, Pixonic even says that these weapons, they're modified air quotes. Uh, rock lock on weapons so you don't have to lock on but they kind of require you to like aim or face an enemy to really deal damage because you're not going to be able to like free ball it and just hit enemies in stealth unless you have a quantum raider obviously okay we need that 350 meter range and let's see i haven't fired these things since the test server so let's wait a second here 350 okay see oh we can't hit him okay we're firing we are firing that's some heavy damage that's a fenrir in there that is a Fenrir. He's eating a lot of damage. Bro, he's eating a lot of damage right off the bat. Remember, we only have one nuke amp as well. So I didn't run, want to run the double nuke amp just because it might skew how we see these weapons. So one nuke amp. Okay, that's Fenrir's coming across here. My cloaking unit does give us a, a damage boost. Come on, we got him, we got him, we got him. We almost got him. Yes. Oh, bro, someone just stole my kill. What was that? Somebody stole my kill, bro. Okay, actually, man, we might get a... We might be able to just fire these into their spawn because of where we're standing right now. That's a behemoth. That is a behemoth. I think it's a smuta behemoth. Let's fire away. Oh my gosh, gate. And he is dead. Deleted. Double kill. Bro, we just absolutely deleted that behemoth smuta in like three seconds. Oh, we gotta get back to cover. Get back to cover. That Seraph is out of range. Ah! Okay, we saved our last stand. We saved the last stand. Our new camp is loading up, though. Let's try to shoot that Seraph. Okay, we're hitting him. Oh, he backed out. He's a coward. He's a sissy boy. He ran or flew back out of our range. Okay, we're in range of all these guys, though. So let's fire away here. That's Ravana. Okay, the damage is getting pretty nasty now. Oh, Skyro's coming right at us. Oh my, triple kill deleted the Skyros. Deleted that Skyros. Oh, hold on, hold on. This, this guy's coming at me. Ravana Storm. Oh, come on. He's using his ability. Deleted again. Rampage. Bro, we're on a kill streak now. These are looking deadly. Whoa, Revenant. Oh, this is going to be tough. He triggered our last stand. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh my gosh. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Godlike. Beyond godlike. We just smoked a full health revenant in like two seconds. Okay, we have some north light healing too. Man, these weapons too. I kind of thought they would be almost, not like zeniths, but like in the way that you can't fire enemies really close to you because they require kind of an arching firing mechanic. But you can definitely fire enemies right in front of you, like 25 meters, as I did with that revenant. That's a Heimdall. Bro, we're smoking up that Heimdall. Oh man, I have the Beyond Godlike kill streak. Can I get the Living Legend? That is the question. Titan Slayer. We got a Titan Slayer. Titan Slayer on Heimdall. Oh, come on. Another kill. Double kill. This is our second kill streak. Triple kill. Okay, this is starting to get ridiculous here. 350 meter range. We're raining rockets. We're charging up our. Man, our North Light's up to 275. Okay, we're reloading. Our new camp is, has been loaded up for a long time. I would love to hit that Ao Ming. Okay, let's get in range. Oh, he's just out of range. He's just out of range. Come on. You're dead. You're done. 
We got him. Come on. Okay, there we go. Titan Slayer. We got him. Another Revenant. Bro, godlike. This is our second kill streak. We already went on beyond godlike. This is now another godlike. Okay, so the question is answered that even really up close, these weapons are insane. Whether you're 350 meters or 50 meters, they're going to deal an insane amount of damage if you land the rockets. It's not like they become less accurate or you can't shoot enemies when they're really up close to these things. Okay, this is a Fenrir there. Okay, I'm going to unload the rockets here. Only a five second reload too. Man, these are like... I don't know if anyone said this yet, but these are like the Chimera on steroids. Oh, we're chewing up that Sharanga. This Sharanga is trying to hide, but he's too tall for the building. We're absolutely demolishing his fingernails. Okay, um... We have a pretty good beak Marley, that Typhon. Ooh, we kept all of our weapons. We're down to 85,000 HP. Oh, getting some teammate North Light. I could really use the Mender. Oh, we didn't get that kill. We did not get that kill. I'm telling you, do these not remind you of, like, Chimera, but on steroids? They're like Chimera, but no lock-on, shorter reload, and they fire way faster. And a shorter uh, distance. But the mechanic itself. Okay, I'm going to first try to take down this Sharanga. We're chewing him up. We're hitting the building, but we're hitting him too. Titan Slayer. Okay. Now the Typhon. Double kill again. We have been in this thing for five and a half minutes and killed every possible robot. This is getting kind of insane. Oh man, this is nuts. My one question is, if you... These weapons might be weaker. That guy's hiding. Okay, he's hiding. But these weapons might be weaker on, like, carrier map under... You know where you go under the bridge and stuff? Last stand triggered. Triple kill. There we go. Can we get another one? Come on. Oh, we almost had the rampage again. We would have had three separate amazing kill streaks. Okay, we have a huge beacon bar lead. Let's see if we can just get some extra change from the penny basket. Our Aegis Shield is up to 680,000 HP right now. Oh, that Miromits, he just dropped down in time. I thought we were going to be able to smoke him, but he took us down. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh, that... Okay, clutch Luchador. He jumped right in my Aegis Shield, and I couldn't do anything to stop him. He was outside of our super jacked up. There we go. Okay, there it is. Okay, game one, they look extremely deadly. Game one of using these things, you guys just saw that. I don't know how many kills we just got. I mean, we only got kills. We got 14 kills with just the Behemoth Talon. 6.4 million. That's looking crazy. All right, let's try one more game and see if these things are for real. All right, Dead City time. This might work better. Actually, I think Power Plant map might be almost the best map for these because all the cover in Power Plant is very low. So you can actually shoot over buildings. Because if you haven't noticed, these rockets obviously shoot over buildings, but... They can't shoot over tall structures. So that's why Power Plant could be really good, but... Dead City maybe too. Dead City maybe too. Maybe this this is me just, you know, recency bias using these right now, but... Also, I think the, uh, the Sinister Talon look way cooler than the regular Talon. But who really cares? They do the same thing. Okay, Capri's coming to center. Alright, let's do it. Okay, Drone Shield and Triggered. Unload. Un we got him, we got him. Oh, come on. We got him. Boom kill. Easy. Smoked him. Smoked the Capri. See, that was without the nuke amp loaded up, too. That was without. Man, being able to shoot over short to medium structures. Last in triggered on that guy. I think one of those guys, the Jabon guy over there, is running an angler. So that'll be interesting if we try to shoot him. Okay, come on. Oh, those guys are out of range. They're out of range, man. Okay, let's just reload. Only a five-second reload. That's nuts. All right. Um. Oh, that's a shell bot. Or is it a angler? No, it's a shell bot. Okay, he's coming through. Whoa, we're hitting him on top. Okay, his last name's triggered. And come on, come on, come on. We gotta reload. Okay, if we can get him, we're reloading again. No one steal my kill. No one steal the kill. And... Okay, there we go. Double kill. Double kill loaded up. 
I don't know if we're going to be able to beat 14 kills with one build that we did last game, but we're going to try. Uh oh, this guy. Okay, I'm going to back up a bit, but... The Fallen, what is that? Oh, that Capri. Oh, he's out of range now. Darn it. These things could be like the... Not Capri, the Fabnir up there. These things could be a Fabnir killer. I mean, the Fabnir doesn't really need a killer. It's not that overpowered, but... You know, think about it. The Fabnir speed? Is it a Seraph there? I don't even know. We're hitting him. Come on. Oh, his Aegis Shield saved him. Okay, let's hit our North Light here. Bro. Bro. Okay, Kepri's going to center. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Seraph, Seraph, Seraph. Come on. Oh, he suppressed me. Oh, what a nerd. You suck. You suck, Ben Affleck. <laughs> okay, we're down to 130,000 HP. Let's see if we can get a few more kills here. Okay, hit our healing. Damage boost. New camp's loaded up. Raining rockets. Man, it's so intimidating when you're just sitting behind a structure and we're just spamming the rockets. There we go, kill. And the rockets just hit the ground in front of you or right above you. I imagine the enemies are... Crapping their pants. Doing that. Okay. Oh, okay. He got, we got, he got his... Or we got his drone shielding triggered. Okay, be we have a beacon bar lead here. But let's push up this right side. Okay, let's see what if we... This could be like the best spot. These structures here are the absolute best. These ones where we can just fire over the top. There we go, last in triggered. Oh, he knows it. That Capri knows it. This guy knows that if he pops out, we're going to smoke him. So the question is, what do we do here? Do we push forward? Or is he just going to corner shoot me to death? Oh, I got teammate help. Yes. Okay, I got teammate help. I don't have to push forward just yet. There. Okay. He's healing, but he got drone shielding. And boom. Double kill. Easy. I think we triggered the last end of that Oroshi too. Another one. Triple kill. Bro, we are chewing up. Oh, we killed the Affleck guy. Oh, we just lost two of our Talon. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to beat the 14 kill streak from last game. Okay, he's dropping. I don't want this guy to kill me. I hate Seraphs too much. Okay, last hit triggered. Shabang! Rampage. Rampage. Okay, we have two fully nuke amp loaded up Sinister Talon. This build looks kind of stupid. But also, remember, since we're in the, uh, since we're in this mode, we do have extra defense points with our legendary pilot, so it does help us out a little bit. Oh, man, they have, okay, I'm gonna dish this thing. It's gonna be pretty much useless. Actually, I'm gonna drop my Seraph and see if I can just quickly mow down these Ao Mings. Because they got blinder Ao Mings just controlling the map. Okay, target malfunction. You will die in a second. You will die in a second. Okay, come on. Boom, Titan Slayer. Okay, he's dead. Can we get another? Can I get another? Another kill. Going once. Going twice. Okay, we're really putting another beacon bar. Your beacon bar is draining. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, Titan Slayer. Titan Slayer and... Actually, you know what? While we're up here, let's just start killing robots. Okay, so that was the second game with the Sinister Talon. Actually, let's grab this beacon. This beacon, if we cap it... We missed. Okay, if we can grab this, it should end the game. Okay. So that is the Sinister Talent. What are your guys' initial thoughts? My initial thoughts, this game, not as impressive, obviously, as the last game. I think certain maps, they're gonna it's going to work pretty deadly. And then other maps, it's not going to work as well. Okay. Oh, come on, let's kill this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, we didn't kill him. We didn't kill him here. Okay. So, for example, on Canyon map, I'm not sure how they would work. Like, on Shenzhen, I don't know how they would work either. But certain maps, they're going to work really well. And when the shots actually land, they deal big damage. But the question is, will it become meta? We'll have to find out. But also, guys, stay tuned for videos tomorrow and the next day with all the new update content. And I will fix my camera. It's not as high quality. And I'm in a different room today. So, tomorrow we'll be back to normal. Peace. Cheese lasagna.